Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 45, and we are kicking off a Premier League season with Forest Green. Can you guys believe that? Long time coming. Didn't think I'd make it with them, to be honest, but here we are. Now, the big thing is, probably our last season, because we're, in all likelihood, probably a week and a half or so away from the release of the FM21 beta. So, probably going to end this after this season. We'll do one Premier League season, and then... Uh, you know, then I'll probably take a little break, whether that's just a few days or a week of recording, just to recharge and kind of catch my breath uh, heading into FM21. And we will get going on that upon the release of the beta. As always, hit me up in the comments with any suggestions for clubs, leagues, particular tiers, countries, whatever. Uh, that you'd like to see, that you haven't seen before, that you'd be interested in seeing, just let me know. Uh, I've got an idea in my head for my first save. Well, in fact, I could probably tell you, my first save is going to be with leads. I've got to do leads. I haven't done one in a couple of versions. And now that they're going to be in the Premier League, got to kick off with Leeds United. So we will do a Leeds United Premier League save. Uh, that'll be with the full release of the game, not the not the beta release. The beta is going to be a short term. We'll do something. Leads will be a one team save. Uh, we'll figure out when that'll stop, but uh, that'll be the first one. I've got an idea for my second one. Probably it'll be a journeyman style, but it'll be a specific theme. So it won't be a true journeyman. It'll have a specific thing to kind of follow along but um or at least specific rules that i'm kind of still working out the kinks in but uh so the beta save that'll be one that we can kind of play with so let me know in the comments you know what you would like to see for that could be a country that you haven't seen before could be a club you haven't seen before um so yeah just let me know all right, let's get into it today. We've got a lot to cover, so you know, the episode might go a little long. Uh, if you missed the transfers, I suggest you go check out last episode because a lot of new faces, so we will look at that. I kind of wanted to look at last season just real quick. So you can see that we were selling out 6,740 was our sellout home attendance the beginning of last year. And then you remember they did a second renovation to the stadium, and that raised our capacity to 10,500. So um, this year, of course, we are moving to a leased stadium while they build a new stadium, which we will never see, unfortunately. But they have confirmed 17,890 season tickets compared to 4,544 last year. We at Forest Green would like to welcome the plastic fans now in attendance. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see. So we're playing uh, Bournemouth to kick off. Sheffield United will be our second match. We have made a lot of transfers. I do want to dive into that real quick before we get into the match. So let's take a quick look. So we're 29,500,000 in the hole, and that happened since the end of last season. We went down to 47 million uh, in the hole. New stadium, loans, uh, it just, you know, that hit and cost us a ton of money. Uh, payroll budget is 35.5 million. We're currently spending 33,200,000. Uh, committed spending is $34.2 million. We do have a new player coming in. Hopefully, we've asked for a loan player from uh, Bayern Munich, and hopefully he will come and give us some uh, added depth in midfield. And we have $1.1 million left in our transfer budget. We did not look at any outgoings, so let's take a look at that. Uh, you can go back to the transfer window and see all of the incomings here. Uh, quite a few frees, uh, but we did spend some significant money. 
uh, two players at 13 and 13 and a half million respectively in Flynn Downs and Paul Powell Idzikowski, uh, all from Bayern Munich, strangely enough. And uh, sending out, uh, we let go of Kiko on a free to Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, Ezekiel Vidal goes to Flandria for $1.8 million. Uh, Tunji Akinola just never made the club. He goes off to Ross County for $74,000. Daniel Posma, our uh, deep, deep reserve keeper, back out on loan to Chesterfield. Adam Hutchinson, I thought would be a, a good center back for us once upon a time. Not so much in uh, the Premier League. He goes to QPR for two hundred and twenty thousand, and striker Freddie Quispel goes to Luton for three hundred and fifty thousand. We've had a couple of offers on a few guys. We had one guy, I think uh, it was Morell in midfield. He's valued at four point one million. We were getting uh, offers of under a million dollars. So, and he's got two years left on his deal. So I'm not going to just give them away. I think that would be ridiculous. But anyway, there's the transfer numbers. 2.4 million in, 39.5 million out, 26.5 on two players. So we tried to stay within a budget, but we wanted to sign a couple of really good players. Flynn Downs, of course, is going to take uh, Harvey White's place in central mid as he's off to the MLS with Cincinnati. And boy, he looks good. I'm looking forward to him. And Powell Idzikowski um, from Bayern Munich uh, going to replace Adam Ida up top at striker. And again, he looks really good. I'm not sure how well the heading's going to work out, 5.9. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. He's been off on international duty. Taking a look at the competition real quick. We are picked to finish dead last, 1,000-1 to one odds, uh, along with Norwich, Aston Villa, West Brom, and Bristol City, but uh, definitely picked to go down. Southampton picked to stay up. Liverpool, the odds-on favorites to win. Man City, Scum, Chelsea, Tottenham, and Arsenal rounding out the top six. And, uh, yeah, so anyway... Let's get into today. We're playing Bournemouth. They are one of the odds-on favorites to stay uh, to be high in the league, upper half of the table. Uh, we are on the road to kick off the season. Not quite a sellout. Not sure how many people, uh, traveling fans, we're going to have here. But uh, that may be the highest that we're rate in the table this year. So if you want to screenshot that, 11th in the table. And that's, of course, because we haven't played a match yet. One of the only four teams not to play on opening day. So we are going to go in. We're going to go with our away tactic. I'm carrying over with the tactic from last season. So we have uh, the new guy, Daniel Nomov, in goal. Wharton returns on the left side. Actually, I... Oh, he just played, so he's tired, that's why. So what I'm thinking is Marcos Rogerio, another new player, he's going to be our regular guy on the left, and I'm thinking about dropping Mitchell. Uh, in fact, we have him training at complete wing back, and that would move Wharton to uh, a reserve position, but today he's going to start. Uh, we must have some more tired guys coming out of international duty. McGinley's tired. Fasu Mensa is tired. That's why Rawson is playing. Yep. All right. So I uh, let's see. Who is this? This is another new guy, Daniel Anyembe. I've got to get used to a bunch of the people. Fosu Mensa would normally be over there. Uh, this is a 26-year-old Danish player that we signed. So he's got a lot of pace. So I think he can do the job. Uh, we also have Alistair Murphy. He's one of our young players. He's 19 years old. Not a bad little player. A lot of pace out there. 18 pace and what was that? 15 acceleration. So he ought to be a threat at least out there. Morell's going to start in center for us today. Uh, we've got Downs is out on suspension. 
but he can't, we are going to let him play in the 23s. That must be a carryover from la, uh, his club last season. And you know what? I'm going to make a change there. I'm going to bring on Lowry for Morrell. And then we are going to have uh, Clarkson in this defensive mid. I haven't set the roster yet, so I haven't looked yet. Uh, Vieira's at 88%. So we're waiting for a couple of guys to get full health. Collins is going to start along with Idzikowski up top. And then we have uh, Palmer has moved over to the bench. We were not able to sell him yet. Sykes, Morell, Vitasevich, Lindsey, McGinnis, and Oscar on the bench. Let's take out all of these U23s. I think that'll be good. So there's our guys on the bench. Leighton Stewart not, not making the, uh, the roster today. But I do project him. Why isn't he on the bench? Because I don't have a reserve striker. You know what? I am gonna bring I am gonna bring Stewart in for Oscar. He's a, he's a little tired, but if he only comes in for 15, 20, 25 minutes, that should be more than enough, I'm thinking. I hope. Anyway, uh, we did have a friendly just a couple of days ago. That was stupid planning on my part, but yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? All right, we are going to give them our normal first match of the season faith speech. That seems to go over pretty well. Not so much this year. And we are off with our first Premier League match. And quickly, they get three shots, and all three are on target. I just don't know how we're going to match up. I mean, star-wise, you know, we look pretty solid. And... You know, a lot of guys look, oh, that was not good. Jefferson Lerma, his first of the season. You know, looking at our stars, a lot of the guys that we brought in still aren't head and shoulders above. That was some good ball movement there. That was not good. Some quick one-touch passing. Oh, he, it looks like he hit off the post. Probably should have done a little bit better there. Let's ask for some creativity. I would like to get a shot. I would like to not get blanked in our first match. Because that would be... I would be a little... I would be a little more worried than I already am. Oh, Collins poaches the ball. And puts it over the goal. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> we need to do better than that. Come on, boys. We're going to be asking for a lot of passion this season, I think. There's a cross in. Oh, you want to talk about uh, some problems. We had, oh, there's a nice ball out to Mitchell. Into the box. Any support? No. He tries to take it home himself. Pope makes the save. So we had a situation where the ball was headed out, and then the, defend, the, the midfielder or the defensive midfielder headed it back to the back line player, and it went over his head. The other striker ran onto it and put it in. That was brutal. All right, that was not good. Well, we'll tell him excellent. We do have a few yellow cards to worry about. That We will ask him to play it calm. We will ask for some early creativity. All right, Wharton into the box. Now, there's a good play by Rawson. Clarkson, Bellotti, finds Murphy. Murphy turns the corner into the box. And, oh my God, Idzikowski did a diving header. Turf burner on the belly, I'm thinking. 
he's probably going to need to get some cold spray on that. But it was right to the keeper. Mm. That was unlucky. All right, how are we actually looking here? Nobody's playing utter shit, which I guess is good. Tell you what, I am going to pull a quick sub. Let's bring on uh, Ross Sykes on the right side. And Vitasevich on the left. Actually, yeah, let's do that. I was thinking just for a minute about going ahead and dropping him back to that left wing back position. All right, show some passion. Come on. Vitasevich picks up a yellow card. All right, possible highlight for us here. Bilotti out to Murphy. Murphy beats his man, and he plays it right to the keeper. Okay, he's a winger on attack. He has 10 finishing, 11 long shots. As a winger, shoot less often, cross more often. Hmm, not sure what else we can get him to do out there. That's a little disappointing. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, Vit Ooh, Vitasevich. Matt Sharpness, I guess he hadn't played in a while. Let's go ahead and bring off uh, Murphy for McGinnis. McGinnis doesn't have the pace. Uh, demand more. I did like the pace. You know, Murphy looked dangerous out on that wing but just didn't get it done. So, evaluation. Even shots. Targeting is an issue. Two chances created, so we had more chances. Even possession. I'd like to see better pass completion. Tackles was close. Evidently, we're not going to be much of a factor error in the air. It just got outplayed. So, that was bound to happen. They still played well. All right, well, let's get up to the next match and uh, see if we can get our first points of the campaign. So I came upon this email, just popped in, just the transfer window at a glance. And, of course, we're not at the end of it yet. We have two weeks left. But I've sorted this by net spending. So Man City has a net of $260 million paid out. Uh, we are mid-table here at 37 and a half, but we have also brought in 14 players, uh, six players out, so definitely the most turnover in the table. Norwich 10 in, 15 out, and they've got a uh, positive, well, they've gotten $11.4 million more than they spent. So kudos to them, but they did buy a $34 million player. If we look at highest fees, we're actually uh, bottom outside of Tottenham who, who got rid of 14 players and didn't bring in anybody new. Sounds kind of like Tottenham, doesn't it? But anyway, just wanted you guys to be able to look at those numbers and uh, you know see how we were doing compared to everybody else. Oh, we do have one bit of transfer news. We have brought in a new midfielder on loan from Bayern Munich. Uh, Uros Nazevsky, I don't know, Nazevic, Nazevic, I think. I'm going to butcher that name. We're just going to call him Euros. Uh, but he's four-star current, four-star potential, 22 years old, central mid, defensive mid, and I think I'm going to be playing him at defensive mid. He can pass, he can mark, tackling is good, very good physicals. Uh, six foot tall, so he's got some strength to stand up. So I think he's going to be our guy here. So let's give him a number. It's going to be number 45. Wow, that's cool. And we are going to register him. Let's find him. There he is. Make sure he auto-selects. And he does. You know, I really wish the auto-select before 
before you you know you had to confirm it would tell you who was you know just a warning hey this player is not registered or you know something because i've had that where i auto select and assume it's gonna pick everybody and inevitably somebody's left out all right we are back for sheffield united i've just made a loan offer to tottenham for one of their uh, u23 strikers uh, who looks very good and he will be very expensive almost a million dollars a year um, but I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna need to upgrade at, at striker we have id who I think can do the jet is gonna be our number one I think this guy's probably gonna replace Collins if he accepts the loan which that's what I'm waiting for then I'm probably gonna offer out Stewart and see if I can get rid of him. How many games is he suspended for? He is suspended for, oh, 50. This must date back to last season. So he's got two matches left. Holy shit. I wonder if that dates back to here. Does that, does that go back to the last time they were in the Premier League? I wouldn't guess that carries over from the championship, does it? Okay, well, that's surprising. All right, well, let's get into the team selection. We are at home. Uh, almost a sellout. 22648 out of 23 It'll be nice to see how much money we're going to make here. Let's see. We've got eight. Because I think we get a million and a half dollars for TV or per, I don't know, TV or per match or something. But it'll be interesting to see what we're going to do here. Oh, uh, let's take a look at the transfer. Gavin Hamilton, this is the striker that I'm waiting on word that we've put the bid in. He looks really good, and he scored a goal in a reserve appearance already this year and two goals in six starts in non uh, non-competitive, but we'll see. That's what I'm waiting for. And Elias Gerard is going to join as mid-season uh, goalkeeper. He's our new he's our new reserve keeper. So, so we are home. We are underdogs. So I'm going to stick with the away tactic. All right. We'll have Collins, Idzikowski up top. Uh, La, La Quintana, he's going to make his debut for us on the right. Mitchell on the left. Is that other guy ready here? Uh, oh, Rosario got hurt in training, so he will pick up. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and Stewart's on the bench. Murphy, Diakati, Swatridge. I can take Swatridge off for him. And then we can put him there and then swap those guys. So that puts Mitchell at complete wing at fullback. He's training there. So I think training and playing there will help him develop faster. That's the hope. So uh, we are going to put, and he is an attacking winger. He plays up here. Rosario is supposed to come back tomorrow anyway. And if we look at him, his match fitness and everything is fine. So hopefully that doesn't cause another injury. That would really piss me off. So Collins and Id up top. Marcus Rogerio is going to make his debut new player. Uh, Kinzevich is going to make his start. That's uh, the lone player that we just got. La Quintana making his debut. Fosu Mensa making his debut. Ayimbe on the right side. Bilotti McGinley pairing up in the middle. Mitchell, we'll see him. First time we'll see him at that fullback position, but he did a really good job and no mob in goal. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't want to see this guy's groin explode. That would be really bad. I would be unhappy about that. I am getting a I am going to be a little concerned about morale on the team. Oh, we get a we get the first shot. That's good. Couple of shots. We're getting dominated on possession. Back door, and it goes over the goal. Uh, I think we're going to miss White from free kick taking. 
But I did look at him and Ida over at Cincinnati. Uh, they were both valued at about five and a half million. Oh, Marcus Rosario. Come on, boys. A little ping pong action. Get a lot of blocks in there. Oh, that's not good. Let's take a look at that tactic. Oh, so anyway, they were both valued at a million and a half. We're not working the ball into the box. You know what? I'm going to take off run at defense because we're not, we're not the best club this year. And when I looked at them, honestly, I mean, we know where Ida would have fit in, but the id is better than him. So I think we upgraded there and white would be about fourth on the depth chart. Uh, There's Mitchell. Mitchell's way out of position. All right, that's headed out. Kick goes over. Um, Mitchell, what are you doing there, buddy? Get creative. We'll do that again. Mitchell's playing a 6'8 back there, so he's not doing badly. He just looked odd. All right, that's our winger. I'm looking for, all right, so that's our wing guy. There's Mitchell. Over the top, first touch and slots at home. Mm. VAR, possible offside. And an offside, good. Oh, yeah, he was well offside. Who was that? That was uh, Bilotti. Played him offside like a champ. I'm going to say, well, I mean, we're, we're still getting hammered on possession, which is, you know, I'm going to say that was a really solid half. Watch your step. And Mitchell, he's playing a 6-8. We can't complain about that, right? Not at all. All right, let's ask for some more creativity. Uh, come on, put the pressure on him. Sterling on the outside. What the hell is Mitchell doing so far inside? That's just odd. I'm going to have to go in and check and see if I've got him triggered out to guard specific position. All right, Rogerio, I don't want, yeah, let's go ahead and take him off. Uh, we can move, let's move Mitchell back up there. Then we can bring Scott Wharton in on the back line. Uh, Kinzevich, let's bring him off for Diacati, mid center. Yeah, Diacati there. And I tell you what, I'm kind of liking. Murphy as possible change of pace. He had a lot of pace. I think he could put a lot of pressure on the opposing team. So he might be one of those guys that we can, you know, that could be a difference maker. Collins is in. Oh, and it just goes wide. Did he get a finger on it? Are we going to have a corner? Looks like it. Comes back out. Diacati. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Can we demand more? A little more, please. Okay, let's go ahead. Anybody really playing bad? And the answer is no, which is good. So, Fosu Mensa. So, I could drop Diacati back there. I could bring Vieira in there. How is... You know what? I'm going to drop him back to Ayimbe's spot. And then Ayimbe, we're going to bring Alistair Murphy on. Gets rid of the yellow card. Keeps somebody that's playing well. And then gets on a possible change of pace player here. Push forward. Into the box. Oh, what a save by the keeper. 
Uh, there must have been an offsides. Yep, offsides. No, don't lose it here. Loftus cheek knocked away. Collins up to Ids. It's a one on one. He holds it up. Oh, squared into Collins like a pro. And Collins scores. First goal of the season for us. Oh, three minutes of stoppage time. Let's jump into tactics. And I am going to do a double time wasting. Don't usually do that second one there, but that's huge. Oh, that was a great hold up by Ids. I thought he was going to take it one on one, but no, he drifted outside, pulled the defender with him, and then just dropped it in on a charging Collins. Oh, that was a that that's got a not that's not the goal of the year. That's the play of the year already. That might be the play of the save. We don't normally see that kind of hold up play. And boy, did we dominate Sheffield on the shots. We need to get better on target. Four chances to zero. I'm happy with that. I am so happy with that. Uh, excellent effort. Great job. And that puts us 14th in the table with three points. We're going to call that a win for an episode. All right. So just to remind you guys, uh, so when you see this, I will be out of state uh, at my friend's funeral. Uh, also just got some other news, uh, found out some news on my mom and it's not good, but, uh, so I'll be dealing with that, uh, here moving forward. But, uh, anyway, that's, uh, so that's, it's, it's been a rough week. <laughs> it's been a rough week. Uh, but anyway, so what I want to do at this point is I want to jump in to the calendar and I'll do this off camera, but I want to jump into the calendar. This is going to be the last season. So I want to see how many days, upload days, that we're going to have between now and the beta release. And it's possible, it's possible that if I can record enough episodes to make it up to the beta release, but do it like ahead of time and then have a week where I don't have to open the game and look at anything, I might do that. But that way I can also figure out how many episodes we can cram in this year and space out the games accordingly. So I don't know where I'm going to come back until we see that, uh, till I know what that is. So we'll talk about that more next episode because I'll have those numbers. Also, let's jump into finances. So we had 8.7 million. So almost $2 million in gate receipts, 213,000 in gate receipts. And then it was a million for the match. Okay. So yeah, you get a mil like a million and a half a match. And then, okay, that makes sense. So that should bode well. That should bode well for us that we really start driving a profit. So I'm expecting this to come out pretty quickly. Probably by the mid-season transfer. We should be back in, in positives, I hope, if I'm doing the calculations correct, but who knows. All right, guys, well, hit the like button, hit the notification button, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, and, you know, again, in the comments, hit me up with any club, country, whatever uh, that you haven't seen before that you'd like to see, uh, that I will be taking those under advisement for the beta save. Uh, so anyway, thanks a lot. See you guys. Three points in the Premier League with four screen. Yay. See you guys. Bye.